In this video, we're going to do an unboxing of several different things, and we're going to enjoy a not-so-good beer. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and if it's your first time here, thanks so much for joining. Uh, I really appreciate it. I hope you'll consider subscribing below. So, as mentioned before, today we're doing an unboxing. We're going to unbox a number of packages using an old cheapo. This is just a bird. Uh... Metal Arc 2, which I like to use for unboxing. And we're going to start with this first box, which I think this is the package I ordered from Turkey, which it would be a Zazer razor, I think. And if you've never seen a Zazer, it's kind of a, kind of looks like a razorine. And so, yeah, I think, I think, yes, you see the razorus.com or something like that. However you say that, it's, it's well packaged. Um, Boy, it got here quick because I only ordered it like maybe, I want to say less than a week ago. And so that's quick from uh, all the way from Turkey. And I didn't pay much. I don't remember what it was, but it was in the neighborhood of 20 bucks, I want to say. Don't hold me to that. Sorry for the noise and all that. Well packaged. We shall open this up and see what we have. Again, I, sorry for the background noise. Lots of noise. I apologize. And so... Here we go with our Zazer. Actually not bad packaging considering this is not an expensive product. And uh, there we have our Zazer, which uses a double-edged razor blade. And I saw Dave Card uh, using this first. So it was the first place I'd seen one of these. I was interested in the Razor Ring, but honestly the way that guy carried on in my Razor Rock Switch videos kind of turned me off the, the Razor Ring. And so, with the Zazer, you put your uh, DE blade in here, and it locks in, and you use it kind of like a Kamasori razor. So we'll look forward to using this. Very, very nice. And that came quick, I must say. Far, far quicker than I ever imagined. So if you're interested in uh, Zazer, go to their website. I'll link it below. Got here in about, I want to say, under a week, which is pretty doggone good. You can't even get stuff in the U.S. shipped to you for a week now. Um... The beer is Bloodline IPA. My wife got it thinking it would be like an orange type, a blood orange type beer she's had before, but it's IPA and I don't really like it. Have you ever taken, uh, there's a medication called prednisone. And like if you have a respiratory illness or something like that, they'll oftentimes give you prednisone or if you get poison ivy really bad. If you ever get that medication, on your tongue, it leaves a very bad metallic taste. That's exactly what this tastes like. So I don't like it at all. I prefer lagers, easy drinking beers. I don't like bitter anything. This is like putting a uh, piece of burnt wood in your mouth after it's charcoal. Not very good, but I'm gonna drink it because she bought it. Oh, it's not good. I'm only drinking it because we may as well. The next package is from uh, Spearhead Shaving Company. Now, Spearhead Shaving Company has a lot of experimental soaps that are well-priced. This one, I think I paid like $6.99 for. And so let's give it a look. They have a lot. You really keep your eye on the Spearhead website because they have things going on sale and they don't necessarily have a ton of them. So if you hit them while they have them, you can get a great deal. And this one is, I don't know how you say that. This is the... Uh, it is, again, their experimental soap, but let's smell it. I don't even remember what... Ooh. I don't know how to describe this or even what it's supposed to smell like. Uh, there, There is what it is. I paid $6.99 for this. This is four ounces. Great scent. Woo. So there's the name. Whatever this is, and I totally can't remember, and I apologize. I love the scent. I love the scent. Absolutely terrific. $6.99, people. Wow. $6.99. Okay, next. Let's see what this is. I don't even remember what this is, but let's open it and see. Ah, okay. This is a WEC uh, hair shaper that I ordered off eBay. Again, inspired by uh, Dave Card, Johan from Shaven Butcher, Frank Stromberg. Um, they advised me to get one that was not metal and so i i got one and of course i'll change that blade i'm not going to use that blade but 
that's not bad. I like these uh, scales. I like translucent scales. So when I saw this one on a eBay, it was like eleven ninety nine or something. It wasn't much. I said I'm gonna get it. Maybe it was twelve. It was under twenty dollars. I'm a hundred percent sure. Looks great. Great condition. I'll just oil it up a little bit and sanitize it, and so we'll be using the wet. And I think Frank might have sent something from Sweden. Um, I offered to pay for the shipping, but he said, no, mate, um, I'll send you something, which I think is just awesome. And I'll do an unboxing on that when it arrives. So those guys from Sweden are just crazy nice people. Okay, the next thing, I'll give you a hint. First time I've ever gotten a brush from that darn Rob. I've been seeing his drops a lot. I really like his work. For me, I don't like roundy um shapes like simple round shapes and that darn rob does not do that like his stuff is very refined this is a handle only and i'm going to put my own knot in it but let's uh let's give it a look and see what we have okay so first of all very cool comes in a bag with his logo sorry for the noise but i can't stop traffic personal note written on the inside of the box enjoy your shave rob he threw in some Astro Blades, which I like, cool. Uh, and let's open the bag. And inside the bag, check that out. Olive wood, isn't that gorgeous? 2007 is the, wow, the coin is gorgeous. Look at that. So I hope you can see this better since it's outside this right here. Wow, I brought a couple of knots just as an example for you. These aren't meant to go in this handle, but there is a cashmere. That looks pretty good. What do you think? Do you think this knot looks good in here? Maybe I'll order a, a 26 millimeter. I don't know what size. I think this is 24, but I think I could use a 26. What do you think about that? Does that look good? The handle on here, the ref oh man, this thing, this is a pro. Like that darn Rob, absolute perfect no wonky fisher price little tyke wonky roundy weeble handles look at that wow uh so here's one with a 26 millimeter um i think this is like a suave knot from pa like a plasson type knot i think i prefer the cashmere what do you think i also have a sinbad on the way from ap shave co so we'll compare but i prefer this one what do you again Comparing the two, that, that, um, I think, no, what did I order? A two bed, I think, from AP Shaveco, which looks like Badger, but wow. I am impressed with that darn Rob. I see more that darn Rob brushes. This is just, this is fantastic. Wow. I am blown away by the quality of his work. Wow. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm getting off track. Let's take a little. Ugh. Gross. Oh, sorry, people. DK is probably... <laughs> I know there's a lot of uh, IPA people that are like, oh, you need to man up and all that, but it's just not... I, I don't like bitter. I don't like bitter at all. So if you know IPA that tastes not bitter that I might like, let me know, but I don't like this. Hair Shaper Blades for the Wick. Uh, no big deal there. And we have one more to open this has been a very nice unboxing all right so when you see this box and the way it's packaged you know who it's from because only sterling knows how to use these um flat rate boxes in the way they do they are super professional at shipping stuff and super efficient after that interview like i'm like you know what i gotta buy some more sterling <laughs> and so i made another order because i love their stuff and if you can't watch that video and find something redeeming about them, there's something wrong with you. I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> That's my opinion. All right, let's get it open. And inside this box, if you've ever seen the way they package stuff, now there's gonna be a lot of shredded uh, paper in here and that's because it's biodegradable. But anyway, we'll sort through that mess. Always gotta Receipt in there and a thank you, handwritten. I don't know if you can see it. Doesn't really matter. Anyway, let's cut through some of the 
Let's try not to spill that. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's biodegradable. So if it falls out here, it's no big deal. And they shrink wrap things and the ants and the, uh, the mosquitoes and everything else are, are lighting me up right now. But anyhow, very well packaged. Nobody packages like Sterling. Nobody. Like they managed to get more in these boxes and safely send them to, I mean, they're just, they're crazy efficient. Deep Blue Sea, which I had a sample of and I liked it. <sighs> Wonderful scent. <sighs> Look up the notes for, for Deep Blue Sea. Obviously, probably some sort of aquatic type scent. I think it's actually a uh, inspired scent by Cologne. I don't know if it's aquatic, but super clean, super fresh would be the way I described it. I also bought uh, the Deep Blue Sea Aftershave which you see here, I'm not gonna bother unwrapping it. And I bought an aftershave that was on sale, uh, Tuscany, um, because it was on sale and I, uh, I ordered the soap. Um, Maggard still had the soap in stock, so I ordered the soap from Maggard. At one time I had it, I don't know what happened to it. Maybe I put it in my mystery box and forgot about it. Anyway, it's hot out here. It's like 90 some degrees, so I'm beginning to sweat. But I must say, I'm very pleased um with this unboxing today i hope you've enjoyed it i didn't do a, a shave on camera today because i just wanted to enjoy a shave to myself normally i share but today i was selfish but i knew i was going to bring this unboxing to you and man i must tell you the stars of the show today that darn rob again let's drop in the cashmere that is awesome look how refined you see these lines no wonky wonky wobbly big fat lines um man olive wood that darn rob will be seeing you again and this soap right here whatever that is it's fantastic Whoo! i don't know what that scent is I, i've smelled it before i don't know what it is but i love it and so keep your eye on spearhead shaving company you'll see these things go up snatch them up man because this one smells great and of course you know we, we showed you already our zazer we've been going for 13 minutes on an unboxing which is long enough i'm also getting eaten up by the insects so thanks as always for watching i appreciate you very much i can't thank you enough for joining me until next time it's your shave do it your way and as always god bless